Decision-making is crucial in both personal and professional contexts, affecting everything from daily choices to strategic planning. To better understand and improve decision-making, researchers have developed two primary theoretical approaches, normative and descriptive decision-making theories. These theories offer distinct perspectives focusing on how decisions should ideally be made and how they are actually made in practice. Normative decision-making theory prescribes how decisions should be made to achieve optimal outcomes. It is based on the assumption that individuals are capable of making fully rational choices. This theory employs mathematical models such as expected utility theory and game theory, which help analyze situations with uncertain outcomes and multiple options. For example, in expected utility theory, decision-makers evaluate the expected outcomes of their choices assigning probabilities and utilities to each potential result to determine the best course of action. To support rational decision-making, normative theory uses several analytical tools and techniques. Decision trees visualize and calculate the outcomes of various actions, providing a clear understanding of potential consequences. Cost-benefit analysis evaluates the benefits and costs of different choices, aiming to maximize benefits while minimizing costs. Optimization techniques are mathematical methods used to find the best possible decision among a set of alternatives based on defined criteria and constraints. For instance, linear programming can be applied to resource allocation problems to identify the optimal distribution of resources. The primary goal of normative decision-making theory is to provide a framework that guides individuals and organizations toward making decisions that are logically sound and yield the highest benefits. It offers a theoretical basis for decision-making that is ideal and objective, focusing on outcome optimization. This framework is particularly useful in fields such as economics, finance, and operations research, where decision-making under uncertainty is common. Descriptive decision-making theory, in contrast, seeks to understand how decisions are actually made in real-world scenarios. It recognizes that decision-makers often face constraints such as limited information, cognitive biases, and emotional influences. This theory aims to describe and explain the actual behaviors and thought processes involved in decision-making. Descriptive theory explores the psychological processes underlying decision-making. Heuristics are mental shortcuts people use to make decisions quickly, which can lead to systematic errors or biases. For example, the availability heuristic causes people to overestimate the likelihood of events that are easily recalled, such as recent or dramatic occurrences. Framing effects illustrate how decisions are influenced by the way choices are presented rather than the choices themselves. For instance, people may react differently to a treatment described as having a 90% survival rate versus one described as having a 10% mortality rate. Bounded rationality, introduced by Herbert Simon, suggests that humans strive to make rational decisions, but are limited by their cognitive capabilities and the information available to them. Researchers like Tversky and Kahneman have significantly advanced our understanding of descriptive decision-making. Their work shows that people often deviate from the optimal decisions predicted by normative models, influenced by inherent biases and the context of their decision-making environment. Kahneman and Tversky's development of prospect theory, for example, demonstrates how people value gains and losses differently, leading to decisions that deviate from expected utility theory. Prospect theory explains phenomena such as loss aversion, where the pain of losing is more intense than the pleasure of gaining an equivalent amount. In summary, normative decision-making theory provides a blueprint for making the best possible choices under ideal conditions, while descriptive decision-making theory offers insights into the actual dynamics and limitations of human decision-making. By combining insights from both approaches, we can better understand the complexities of decision-making and improve decision-making practices in various contexts. Integrating these perspectives enhances both academic knowledge and practical strategies, leading to more effective and realistic decision-making. This comprehensive approach is beneficial in fields ranging from public policy and healthcare to business management and personal finance, where understanding both ideal and actual decision-making can lead to better outcomes. Stay tuned for more insights into management and organizational behavior. If you found this overview helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on future topics you'd like us to cover. I'm Dr. Dag, wishing you a fantastic day ahead.